Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Last episode, we made our way through jellyfish fields, got all the golden spatulas, and was able to heal up Squidward. Even though he doesn't look very healed right now, he is. Uh, I guess we can talk to him again. This is why I don't go outside. Ever. Oh, poor Squidward. Anyways, let's go back to Bikini Bottom for right now. There's a couple of things we can do there. Now that we have Patrick, I'm sure there's maybe some extra stuff as well. But I know I have at least 3,000 of the shinies to trade with Mr. Crab so that we can get a golden spatula just like that. And on top of that, we can go to a whole new area and start exploring that. That should be fun. Um, so far, the game has been a ton of fun to explore. So, uh, so I'm really enjoying it. Excited to see what we can get to next. Uh, there are different areas to explore. Like this one requires five. That one's 15. And then I think the one down here is just 10. Yeah, so when we go into that one next, I think it's just the city, which is really cool. And I was just looking around. Is there anything else we could do here besides the Mr. Krabs? I don't think so. So let's just talk so, to him. Do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Yes. That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. Okay, so there we go. There is a golden spatula for us. That's our 12th one, so we could technically go to that other area if we wanted to, but I'd rather do, do it in order. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. Okay, so 6,000. Uh, we should be able to do that. We're very close to that already, I think, right? Um, I'll turn over and collect some more. Yeah, 5,111, so we're doing pretty good. We should be able to come back soon and do that, but this is gonna be downtown Bikini Bottom. Oh boy, let's go. So this looks like it could be a lot of fun, just exploring the uh, Bikini Bottom city, really, and seeing what's going on here. I'm sure there'll be like more boss fights, more enemies, more robots to defeat. Downtown Bikini Bottom. Once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's a mess. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate. All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate. <laughs> we have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Oh no. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. Ooh. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. <laughs> You're gonna have to earn that one. SpongeBob, we need those steering wheels. Now hurry! Okay, what is this? Uh, when SpongeBob touches this ball, he will change into a SpongeBall. You can roll quickly as a SpongeBall, but you cannot do anything else. Being hurt or pressing any button will change you back to your normal self. So what's the point of that then? I'll, I'll pick it up for now, just out of curiosity. Whoa, whoa, okay, um. Note taken. I want to explore this area first before we leave it, though. Let's explode this stuff. I love opening presents. Ultra combo. I like it. It shines. I don't see too much else going on around this way, but there's plenty of robots and jellyfish to beat up. I'm sure plenty of uh, sparkly things as well. Gotcha. There we go. So I guess we're trying to find the steering wheels. There was one right over this way. So we want to make sure we grab that. Boom. And I have to find 11 in total. So we'll be keeping. Uh, the search continued, of course, throughout Bikini Bottom, downtown version, I guess. So it's more of a town than it is a city, but it basically is a city. Oh my. Oh, another one of these cannons, but I don't think we can actually go out that far. So I don't know if we can actually destroy that one, but I can do this. Oh, awesome. Oh my. <laughs> They're throwing the kitchen sink at us. It really, they really have thrown everything then. Huh. I wonder what I can do about that. Maybe I can... Get them to launch it like that? Would that do anything? No. <laughs> okay, note taken. Because if I go out like this, yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't. Weird, how do I knock these things over? Maybe I'll need like Patrick or something? We'll come back. For right now that there's some more jellyfish, there's one of the Tartar robots over this way. I don't like dealing with these guys, but we gotta do it. Oh boy, watch it, watch it. Got him, got him. Oh, that hurt. But we get a sock. That's our 10th one. So I think if we go back to Patrick now, we can actually get us, ourselves another like golden spatula sponge. too. So that's good. Hmm. 
So once again, another dead end. But I'd rather sort of, you know, find all the dead ends first so we know where not to go anymore, you know? So that's good. So we should be able to reach the, the 6,000 for Mr. Krabs pretty easy. But yeah, it's cool seeing more SpongeBob things that like we've seen in the cartoons, but sort of fully realized here in the game now. And you can just explore them. Lots of fun. It'd be fun to see if they ever make a sequel to this game, now that they're doing the remastered version. We got that uh, steering wheel. So let's switch back to the, the rolling sponge. Yeah, you can't even jump very high. It's a very weird power-up. Boar's gonna go over here for right now. Whoa. Uh-oh. What is this thing? Oh my gosh. Oh no, watch out! Is it gonna like abduct him? It might. Oh, behind you! Oh! Oh no, poor little anchovy guy! Oh. Hey! There's Gary! He's so strong to knock something like that over, wow. Alrighty then, so we'll have to, is Gary still up there? I don't see him. We'll have to sort of figure this out. I guess there's new robot enemies to take on. Starting with this guy. Am I just supposed to jump on him? No. Okay, that doesn't work at all. Weird. I don't know what to do about that. Oh, I, I probably have to slam on it. Don't forget our other moves, after all. So let's try that again. I'll get over there and I'll just try to slam on him. Jump, jump, slam. Yeah, there we go. That told him what's what. All right, well you're saved, Mr. Anchovy. I think they're anchovies. They're from the first episode. Uh, but let's get some of these as well, or not. Why doesn't that work? There we go, I gotta jump into it. Very nice. Okay, that's a combo. Oh, this is hot sauce. Gotta be careful of that too. You know what does it say? Uh, volcano sauce, hot. Very cool. So can I sneak in back here? Not quite. All right. And what about this way? I do see this. Fresh, okay, like run, 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 run. Yeah, nice. And then we can also grab this one and these guys. So we're doing an okay job so far, I think. So I guess the idea is that we press this button and then we gotta get over there real fast with the rolling SpongeBob. Yeah, not bad, not Feel bad. Like a new sponge. It's weird, because it makes a buzz noise as if you did it wrong, but you actually did it correctly. There we go. Oh, and that breaks open. Oh, that's perfect. So now we have like a bit of a shortcut, I guess. Can't destroy that though. So maybe not too much this way. That's fine. And then I can go and grab this blue one. It really isn't too much, but it's something. There we go. And what was this way? Oh, there's another steering wheel. Definitely want to grab that then. And there's this guy again. I'm ready for you though. Boom. That's a lot of fun to do. Number one on the Bikini Bottom Scavenger Hunt, three years running. Uh, thank you. Well, that's very impressive, SpongeBob. I, I didn't realize there was a Bikini Bottom Scavenger Hunt. I want to do that. That sounds like fun. Maybe that's foreshadowing. Yeah, let's go this way for right now. Oh, checkpoint. Nice. See, once again, we can explode this. And that should open up that fence. I don't think I need this, but yeah, I just wanted to try. Oh, and isn't this the first nautical bank? Isn't this also the joke shop in one of the episodes? I thought they used this building for a couple of different things. I don't know. Anyways, what can we do about this? Oh, I see. Touch that, let it all grow back. I it won't explode all of it. Presents. Oh, it won't. Oh. Okay. So there's a limit to that I gotta keep in mind. But there's more of these um rock ones that I just can't quite do anything about. There must be a new ability we're getting soon, I would think. But who knows? Let's get rid of this jellyfish. I'll explode that guy. Bringing it around town. And then that guy too. Hmm. Well, at the least, I can sneak over and do that. Bringing it yeah. around town. So I think I've done everything I can in this area. We can keep moving forward. I gotta press that button and then go somewhere else. I guess down this way. Oh yeah, here's the where the huge crater is. Oh whoa. Oh sweet, we get to make a big jump. Oh, oh man, that was cool, that was really cool. So let's fight some of these robots. Yeah, we're getting better with the combat, that's good. Clam sickles, ew, that doesn't sound very tasty at all. Oh, this poor guy's getting chased by a robot. Get him out of here. There we go. Anything else up here? Not looking like it. See, there's a lot to do here in downtown. Let's try this one. It closed the door, or the window. Was that what I was supposed to do? Was I supposed to go in there? 
Did I just mess something up? I don't know, that, that was weird. Um, okay. Well, over this way we got some stuff we can explode. Uh, there we go. Whoa, monster combo. And that leads all the way back over here. Okay, so let's destroy all of that. It'll all fall down and that immediately exploded. Okay. See, I guess now that this is opened up, maybe I'm supposed to do something with this one. I'm not really sure. It's definitely a bit weird, but we can grab some underwear like back. And I guess I should go down this way. There is a couple of little sparklies to get, not too much. And I think that's about it. So that might not have been the best idea. Can I make this jump though? Yeah, okay, so I actually don't really need to. Actually, now I do, okay. Good to make sure though. So back up this way, I'll have to go into the ball form. Yeah, the ball form is like, has SpongeBob ever done that in a game before? I don't know, but I guess he has also hasn't done that, in a, or not in a game, but in an episode. He's done it in this game. <laughs> oh man, there we go. Well, there's a lot of stuff I feel like the different moves he has aren't always parts of specific game or episodes. I'm getting the words mixed up apparently. Oh, it's, it's Bubble Buddy. This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? I'm not sure. So yeah, I'm still not sure how we would get in then. I would think it would be through this window, but we closed it. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Maybe I'll have to come back. Well, for right now, we can bounce up this way. Whoa, these are floating. Oh man, that was weird. Okay, try that again. Going up. Oh, there's a sock waiting for me. There it is. Hey, nice. Pepper now can I make laundry. this jump? No. How do I do that? Maybe I need a different character for that? Who knows? Or maybe I can just jump up with this. I don't think so, but I'm certainly gonna try. Ooh. Okay, it, it doesn't work though. Uh, that would've been cool. So it looks like we're on the other side of downtown now. And I guess I'm supposed to jump through this. Whoa! I did it! Checkpoint! That's cool, but I need to open this back up now. Oh, that did it, nice. Okay. Oh, did that Hi, hurt? Gary? Yeah, it did. Hi, Gary! Meow. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean Meow. Uh-oh. Oh, there's the exit. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops which leads to the lighthouse? Aha, uh -huh. there's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. Oh my. So I guess we gotta get over there. What do you mean get Sandy to help me? <sighs> I can get through this. Oh, well, let Sandy help. I'd like to see her. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. Okay, so I guess we're getting Sandy's help. That's cool, but we want to keep exploring around here first. Just try to find whatever we can find, like what's behind this building. Apparently a bunch of nothing, but there is another uh, steering wheel up there, so I'll try to keep that in mind. But boom, got it. So, so far so good with exploring everything, just gonna keep up the good work, I guess. There we go, get all that. Oh, I like the big chain explosion, that's my favorite. Fresh, like a spring breeze. Yeah, we're getting quite a few of the sparklies today. Already at the almost 7,000. So how do I get on top of this, just like this? Is it falling over? Hmm, whoa. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do. I don't think so, but it's what I did. All right, well, You'll one way or another, we figured it out. And then, ooh, what is this about? If we spend 2,000 shiny objects, we can open up this door, which leads to the sea needle. Is the sea needle its own thing? No, this is just like its own, okay. Um, interesting, for sure. Uh, for right now though, I did wanna check the details. So we still have, you know, three things we're trying to get here, but there is still on top of that five more that we can run into. So we'll be keeping up with that. Let me finish exploring this area specifically at the least, and then maybe we'll go out to the Sea Needle. I don't really know if that's what I should be doing right now. I don't know, it seems a bit of a, a tangent. So maybe I'll leave it. How do I get over to there? I must have missed something. Huh, okay, ow. ow. Maybe not, maybe that's something a we just go up to with Sponge Sandy. Oh, sparkly. Yeah, I don't see any way into that, so I'm gonna leave it for later. 
We will grab Feel this like underwear. And let's activate that box. Yeah, good. So yeah, we're good to get up this way and play as Sandy. This will be a lot of fun. Yep, go to the bus stop. And then, ta-da, Sandy. So can I play as Patrick in this level at all? If I go like this? I'm just curious to see. Nope, it's just SpongeBob and Sandy. That's interesting. So what if I left with Sandy? Would it just turn me back into SpongeBob? Maybe. Anyways, you're Sandy. Take that. I like how there's like no plot reasoning on why she's here. Uh, jump to the top of these steps. Uh, Sandy can glide across the gap of the next rooftop by double jumping and holding X afterwards. Okay. So if we go like this. Whoa, she uses her lasso, that's so cool. Okay, Sandy out of, out of the three, SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy, I think she's my favorite. Um, I just think she's a cool character, she's just a go-getter, very active, very expressive. Of course, all of the characters are very expressive, but you know what I mean. Anyways, Someone I guess we'll... Better make good use of all these. Whoa, whoa, there we go, oh my gosh. Very cool, so we can explode that too. She is really powerful. Anyways, we definitely have to do more earning of the uh, sparklies. We wanna get back up to 6,000 now that we spent some for the sea needle. But I guess we gotta run back over this way now. Well, I love her karate chops and kicks. She has her lasso ability. I don't know if she has anything else she can do, but we'll find out along the way. There's our checkpoint again. And let's get up here real quick. And let's try that again. So I sort of went to like a side path so that I could get whatever was extra. But now that we have, she'll be able to get over to here no problem. And indeed we can. Awesome, but I would love to hear which one of the three is your favorite, um, SpongeBob, uh, Patrick or Sandy. What does this say? Uh, Sandy can do a chop attack by pressing square. If you chop while in air, you can perform a karate kick. Cool, so, yeah, I like that. Wow, so you can destroy these super easy. And I think that, yeah, there was another one of these over here. I don't know if this is a good idea to go and get because I don't know if I can go back the way I came. Yeah, I might have to go the long way around, but I might be able to get up here. Yes, I can. Very cool. And that'll get us another sock. I didn't even see this before. Ooh. Whoa, I really okay, I thought that was a... Patrick socks. Yeah, unfortunately. But I thought that was a, a line of uh, red sparklies, but it wasn't. It was, uh, I guess, just the dotted line on where we cannot return. So I don't know if there's a way back up. Yeah, I can't quite do that, so I guess I gotta go the long way around. Yikes. Or maybe I could... Whoa, there we go, that's helpful. Nice, all right, never mind. We're back on track. So yeah, we were... No, well, yeah, okay, I was gonna say. Do I have to get over there? I can't get over there from here. We gotta get over like this, though. And... Yeah, I guess just go over this way. I don't know what's with the, the flying Texases. <laughs> that's a little weird. Guess we'll have to see what that's about. Uh, you can lasso the object by pressing circle. All right, whoa, and just destroy them all. So we got some long distance action with Sandy now. And what does this one say? Uh, Sandy can swing from a swing hook by pressing circle. Whoop, whoa, okay, be careful. That's awesome, she's really, really handy. Uh, Sandy can lasso a robot by pressing circle. We'll do that in just a moment. Is there anything over here? Not really looking like it. So we already actually lassoed a robot. We did that before, but we're doing it again. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Where did that come from? Up there. So let me quickly take that guy out. Can I lasso this? I guess not. That's fine. I can just karate chop it. Watch out, though. It's going to explode. And is there anything extra I can reach right now? I'm sure that if we tried, we could get to the golden spatula from here, but I do see another sock. Huh. All right. I'll try to get to that soon. But right now, I guess swinging would be our best bet. There we go. One more time. Got it. So there's another, okay, no, I thought that was another golden spatula. That is another um, steering wheel. So I guess we'll go this way for right now and destroy this. That was good. I don't know where that was gonna go anyways. Huh. So what can I reach? I definitely can't reach the sock from here, but I guess what I could do is I could go back over to the box and jump over super easy like that. So we have uh, some space to experiment then, that's good. Going down. Hmm. How do I wanna do that? Cause can I turn? Oh, I can, excellent. Ready and jump. Whoa, I think we can make it. Yeah, no problem. 
So here's another sock for us. Well, I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. Which is good. And I don't see too much more about what we can do around here. Like we can go on top of the the first nautical bank, but there's not much to do here. So I guess we're good to hop down and then actually get over and get that golden spatula. What happens if I touch the, the little SpongeBob rolling ball when I'm Sandy? Nothing. That's a little bit of a disappointment, but okay. So we will go to the Sea Needle at some point, but I don't know how much of a side area that is, so we'll probably tackle it a little bit right now. Whee! There we go. So that is our 13th golden spatula, and I think our first one for this area. So still lots to do, but for right now, let's go into the rooftops. There's a real loud motorcycle outside, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so yeah, what's going on with all this then? It seems like there's a lot of places hey Larry, to go. What's shaking? Sandy, boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That there antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Oh, no. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. <laughs> the robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I could do is flex. Wanna see? Yeah, great. <laughs> uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, do I have to pick this up or anything? I guess not. And there's a little box, I'll have to find out squirrel, where we need to through. connect that to. But let's look behind the entrance of this level, because we can go back to the downtown streets, but there's a button to press. Uh, can I just stand on it? Yeah, oh, Sandy doesn't have like a slam move, so I can't hit this button at all. But there's a bus stop right here. So let's switch back to SpongeBob real quick to see if we can't figure this out. Just get over this way and slam. What did that do? Whoa. Um. Whoa, <laughs> look at that! Wow, that was a lot! And what's going on up here then? There is a sock. Oh, that was cool to find. Glad to have this back. Mm-hmm. So there's sock number 14 for us. If we go with this right, we're gonna be able to get two golden spatulas out of Patrick. And is there anything of interest up here? There's an another box. But this is a different box than the box that that one leads to? If you say so. Uh, let's switch back to Sandy though. I think that's who we need to actually get across to everything. But we'll keep an eye out to see if there's anything SpongeBob can do. Hello. <laughs> um, Bikini Bottom Motor Company. Okay, so I guess that's for all the boats. What's interesting is that, I know I've talked about the fact that I've never played this game, but that's a giant SpongeBob shirt. I mean, for everybody, just giant clothes for everybody. Interesting. Um, uh, reminder, Cindy can cross large gas by jumping and pressing X afterwards. So we can do this, no problem. Alrighty then. Oh, hello. Watch out! Oh, not another new robot. Oh my. Jump out of the way, or do something. Oh no, oh no, where'd she go? She got turned into bubbles. Oh, there she is. Yikes. Not good. Hello. So I guess we gotta take that on now. I will in just a second, I'm gonna explode these two. But what I was saying is that I have played other SpongeBob games before, really only one in particular. There was one for the original PlayStation. Um, I forget what it was called, it was just a SpongeBob game on the original PlayStation. It was more of a side-scrolling platformer than a 3D one. And that, that game was really fun. It was really tough. I never beat it. But Sandy may defeat Robust by pressing square. Not as good uh, as Texas barbecue there we go. Sauce. Ah, but I remember in that game you could go to Sandy's house and uh, there was like a big jellyfish battle in that one too. All right, let's get across to here. Nice. Toasted tiki Texas style. Okay, so that was pretty good. Can I go inside of here? No. Hmm. So I guess we're just going up this way then. Just trying to look out for secrets at every chance I can get. Oh, is this like gonna be a teeter-totter? I guess so. Gotta be careful. Karate chop my way through all this! Run, run, run! Oh man, everything explodes in this game. I'm not seeing anything else, so I guess we're good to lasso on over here. Oh, Kelpo! That's funny. There we go. So I guess it's like some kind of cereal. 
Nice. And I might be able to get up there, actually. Whoa! I, I don't like how far down I fell from that. So I can get up here, but there's there's not much for me. I think. She really does have a lot of platforming ability because she very slowly descends when she's doing that. So you can get pretty far. Wow, we've just been a bunch more of these now. And where does this lead? This one, oh, this one is the one that leads back up here. Weird, but okay. Um, so 2100, 2100 shiny objects. And what is this one? Ooh, secret area. I like it. No, wrong button. Whoops. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Okay, so let's try again. This time I actually press the button to, uh, why is it not working? There we go, I gotta get a little bit closer is all. Oh, we gotta get across quick. Oh, there it is. And then over this way. We have 20 seconds remaining. I don't know where we're going is the problem. It just seems to, no, not what I wanted. I'm glad that worked, but that was scary. Wait, it's leading back here? Oh, I see, I see. All right, I hope we can make it. There's a golden spatula up here. Would you look at that? Awesome. 14 golden spatulas in total. How many have we gotten in this area specifically? So we found, learn Sandy's moves. We still need to do end of the road. Uh, tiki's go boom. Yeah, I didn't figure that one out. That one was a little weird. Uh, across the rooftops we're working on and there's three more. Cool, this really does have some you know, Mario 64 vibes in some way. <laughs> I like it. So yeah, what's going on with this one then? This is where we gotta go next. Not bad. Uh, and I will lasso you before you get me. Just don't want that to happen. Oh my, oh my. Now this guy I forgot to lasso. <laughs> I, I don't know, that was weird. I'll try again. I was a little too more focused on seeing if I couldn't lasso him. Cause you can lasso some enemies, but not all of them. It's a little weird like that. Okay, we're just right back here though. It's not gonna be no big deal to get back over there. Gives me a chance to get slightly more sparklies. Just like that. Okay. Now this guy I'm trying to avoid. Uh, okay, he didn't hit me. No, I can lasso him. Oh, but his friend attacked me. I don't like it. And oh, there's another one right up there. So, oh, that's not what I wanted though. Maybe I could beat these guys up. There's a lot of platforms above me, but more importantly, I should just be able to glide back. It's another Bikini Bottom Motor Company. They're all over the place around here. And what about back here? Uh, Not much, gotcha. I wish I could just lasso that from here. I don't think that would work. No, it doesn't. Okay, turn back before we fall. Ah, okay, we're fine. So, still can't reach that from here, I don't think. What does that say? Eat at Joe's. All right, I will soon. This is a lot of fun to explore, though. I really like the downtown area. A reminder to get across the large gaps, use the lasso swing. I know, I got it, don't you worry. Is there anything in here? No. We were already down that way, right? Yeah, that's where we were before. It can get a little confusing once you die because it's like, okay, wait, where was I? Where have I been? Where have I not been? Oh no. Was that what I was supposed to do? That one seemed a little weird. I guess so. Huh. Okay, we got more robots, so I don't like it. Come on, come on. Got it. Run, run, run. Ow. Not what I was supposed to do. There we go. He's dancing too. He's so happy. Ooh, what does this button do? Yeah, I appreciate it. So over this way, I probably want to lasso these guys before they notice me so that we can destroy them. But I got to do that one at a time. Whoa, he's launching. Was that it? I guess so. Not seeing anything back that way. Huh. See, so yeah, let's just jump up for right now. Whee! Whoa! Okay. We keep going up and up. That's better. And now we're up here. There's a checkpoint for us, so that's at least good. Can I hop on top of the sign? And then maybe get up this way? I can, whoa. Am I supposed to be up here? Doesn't seem like there's much to get, but this is cool. Hmm. Can I use this to my advantage anyway? It doesn't seem like it. I'll just head back to here for now. Ow, that hurt. Ew, can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Yeah, that is a little weird, isn't it? What does this say? Coral Cola. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen that one before. Hmm. 
Because we're still trying to get to that one sock. It was right over that way, so we're almost there. Whoa. Whoa. Try to be careful. Yeah, I think we could get there from here, but then I'd have to go all the way back around, which might be a bit of a pain. Might as well get out of the way now, though. Oh, actually, no, maybe I shouldn't, because it looks like it loops around anyway, so we'll keep with this for now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Watch it. Watch it. And there's another steering wheel. Okay. Can I just lasso it? Not looking like it. Oh, that was risky. That was super risky. Oh, there's a purple one. Okay, I don't know if it's worth it for the blue one. I just want to keep going. Oh, man. Oh, I love the combos you can do. That is so much fun. So, yeah, Sandy is definitely my favorite character you can play in this game. Alrighty. She's great. So, we were already down that way. That's where we came in from before. I'm getting dizzy and, oh, that combo is so good. Punch that thing. Destroy this. Ow. That was a little rude, but you can only do so much about it. See, so yeah, let's be careful if we fall. It's a long way back, but you can still see Squidward's house and SpongeBob house on top of each other. Oh no, we're seeing it from the side angle. I got a little confused there. It looked like they were on top of each other. Hmm, is there anything over there? Not looking like it. Okay, one of these robots going down. Okay, well, did what I could about that. So yeah, I guess this is just gonna, whoa, it's a slide. Uh, Not much of one. Do I really have to carry Patrick's socks? Yes. Okay. So there we go. I guess we get to do it again. So Sandy can slide slopes with her shell. That's so cool. I love that. I don't see anything else that we might have missed. So I think we're good to move forward. Whoop. And let's destroy that. Very good. So this game's a lot of fun. I really like the variety of being able to play with multiple characters. The levels seem to be pretty varied as well. Watch out for that. Yeah. And there is a spatula for us, number 15. So we can go to that new area whenever we want, but like I said, I wanna keep going with things in order. So once again, only SpongeBob can slam this. So let's give this a go, if I can. Ready? Boom. And then we'll switch back to Sandy, because I think that'd probably be, overall, a better move. Yep. Can I open this door? The, well, I can travel to the lighthouse right there. And I'm guessing that this leads back to the beginning. It does. Hey. Oh, thank you. I can finally watch those reruns of the Rockfish Files. <laughs> okay. I hope that it's interesting. I'm not really a big fan of reruns myself. I like to watch new things if I can. There we go. And well, here's another sock. Suppose it'll make Patrick happy. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So, is there anything else around here? Not looking like we did a great job exploring everything. We're making good progress. There's only two more socks off to find. And we're still looking for three more of the steering wheels. Okay. Well, right now, to the lighthouse. And I guess we're off. So, whoa, are you ready, kids? Sure, set, go. What do we do? Um, are we just fighting? Can I destroy this? Yes, I can. Yeah, what is going on with this? Was that it? Whoa! Oh my, it's like a battle tower. So just immediately destroy it if we can. I can't get that though. Huh. Maybe there was a better way to do that. Or maybe there isn't. I'm so confused. Messing with Texas. Oh no, oh no. Hey, watch it now. Okay, that's better. Okay, so where is it now? Oh, here it is. Just trying to be quick with it. As soon as we can destroy it, the better. So where Someone is it this time? It's over this way. Oh, got I'm it. Dizzy just watching. I'm sure more than one's gonna start showing up soon, so gotta be careful. Oh, oh, okay, ready, set, go for it. And here's the other one. Run Let's quick, run quick. Pissed. Out of the way. Bam! Super monster combo. Wait, did that knock all of them out? Yeah, that's a little weird, but I guess that worked. Oh my. I can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. I know, underwear. Come on, keep going. Ow, this guy keeps getting me over and over again. Not what I wanted. And that was it. Okay, that got a little scary, but there's a button to press here, so if we come back with SpongeBob, I guess there's something else we can do. Note to self, make sure to do that. Okay, that's better. Okay, so well, for right now, let's grab this. It's another golden spatula for us. Pretty cool. But let's go through the store, and we're gonna be back downtown. Oh yeah, that's right, this is a one-way exit. So I actually should be able to get back to that one spot without too much of an issue, I think. We'll have to wait and see. But for right now, we're doing fine. 
Uh, hey. Hey there, Sandy. Howdy, Bubble Buddy. <laughs> I like how they know each other. I don't think she was even in that episode, but that's cool. So I want to get back over there before we go to the, the sea needle. There we go, got that. Because, like I said, there's a button that we can press only as SpongeBob, so we want to make sure that gets done. Oh boy, run, run, run. Oh, we can talk to Gary as Sandy. Hey, Gary. Meow. Exactly the conversation I expected. So let's get down this way and make this jump. Perfect. Go back in, and we're just basically gonna go over, go into the box, and I guess get to the bottom of that with SpongeBob. I don't know if we have to do it again. We might have to. <laughs> so I guess I'll be right back once we figure that all out. Okay, so I have no clue how I can get to that at this point. Oh no, that worked. Okay, awesome. I feel like a new but sponge. But we can now go and do this. What did that do? Oh, did it make this? Oh, I guess it did. So what is this about? Oh, I'm curious. Whoop. Come on now. Whoa, <laughs> be careful. Hold on, hold on. Try that again. There it is. Is there gonna be a sock up here? There is indeed, boom. So there is another sock done. I'm glad I went out of my way to do that then. And so let's just slam down for now. Wee! We are just going to head out of here and I guess just go to the next area, which should be that sea needle. So that should be fun. Yeah, there's, there's a lot going on here. Been super intense so far, but I think we're, we're doing a good job. Okay, so now that we're back out this way, I'm just going to grab this sponge I'm roller, and we're just gonna roll size. out to this way. This is the sea needle. So I don't know how many more spatulas we really have to get here. I'm, I'm sure there's more of the wheels, unless we missed some, which I don't think we did. I've been trying to be very thorough with that. So we'll have to wait and see. The sea needle. Wow, it's totally destroyed. Are we already at the top of it? I'm, I wonder. Lots of enemies to defeat here. And there we are. <laughs> Hello, sir. Why are there still so many people here when it's just like totally dismantled? Oh, hey, it's Mr. Krabs. Are, boy. Someone's broken the sea needle. That's horrible. The sea needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Ooh. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know. SpongeBob butt pants. <laughs> That's not very funny. Uh, no. But they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break them, I shall. You've got a deal. I mean, you've been breaking them the entire game, anyways. But yeah, let's get to it. There's different, uh, I guess, directions north, east, south, and west. We can only go west for right now, so let's try that out. I could change to Sandy here, but maybe I'm supposed to play as SpongeBob. I'm not really sure. Oh, so yeah, we're just gonna hop on that really quickly. And, whoa, whoa, here we go. So I had to destroy as many of these as I can, preferably all of them. Wow, they're tough though. Hold on now. Uh, come on, come on. Yeah, that is like really weird to control, so <laughs> this might take a couple of tries. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, I got a couple. But not all of them. That is super duper weird. Come on. I got another one. So that's all of those ones, that whole row of them. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't make any noise when you break them, so it's a little weird, but get back down there. Wait, did I break it? I guess I did. Okay, cool. So there's one last yellow one to grab. Okay, well, I, I missed it. You know, I don't think it's worth it, but I'll try one more time. Nice. Okay, now we can leave. Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. <laughs> I guess so. So we can't go that way, at least not to SpongeBob. Oh no, here comes this guy. Dodge all that stuff and just show him who's boss if we can. There we go. But there's another one. Got him, and got him. And there's another checkpoint for us, and another needle. I do like 
doing this part. This is one of my favorite parts of the game so far. It's just, it's also a little difficult. Oh wow, and I missed so many. Whoa. Um, I don't know why I'm going so slow now. What is going on? Ow, that hurt. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about the ones that hurt. Whoa. Okay, it's about to explode, so there's all that done. Come on. There we go. But they're still, are they falling? No. I can't quite reach that one. One more time, one more time, ready? Uh, yeah, there we go, we got it. No problem. And all those are going over to me, so just gotta grab these now. And then one more time for this row of them. The camera's a little weird, but I got it, I got it. And there we go, that should be it. Nice. Ooh, and there's another steering wheel here. I really need that. Gotcha and gotcha. So that's 10, we're looking for one more steering wheel somewhere around here. Maybe it's over this way. I'm not really sure, let me press this button. Yeah, because this will open the door, right? If I had to guess, there it is. So that's worth doing. I'm not afraid of heights. I know, I know. Oh, I can't quite reach him. No, there I go. <laughs> this took a second. So there are some more tiki crates to hit, I'm guessing from this needle right over here. Shouldn't it be too bad? So let's give this a go. Whoa. So many to hit and I missed every single one of them. And once again, we go up very slowly. Yeah, I don't know why it's like that. Huh. Yeah, it, uh, that's really weird. I mean, maybe I'm just supposed to fall slowly. There we go. Got a couple that way. <laughs> that is so weird. All right, ready? Go for it. I'm trying to hit him. <laughs> Easier said than done. Boing. Okay, I got a couple that way. And then, oh, they're like falling on top of each other. Some of them are falling all the way down. I really hope that's not a problem. <laughs> that they're falling like that. I don't think so, but it's, it's really hard to tell. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Ow, that hurt, but Ow. hey, I guess it worked. That is so weird though. Oh, and I keep missing them. I'm going back down. So you can't destroy the stone ones, but maybe if they fall like that. No? I mean, they're gone. <laughs> One way or another. I hope that's fine for Mr. Krabs. Because if not, I don't know how we're getting this golden spatula. It seems like it's too late. What is going on with this? Ready? Yeah, I don't know how we explode these guys without getting hurt. Or does it explode them in general right now? That seems to be a challenge either way. Okay, come on. Oh, we got him, but once again, I gotta take damage for it. Boing. Come on, there we go. Well, I guess it's sorta kinda worth it. Anyways, be careful like this guy. This is the last steering wheel too. Gotcha. Met the All steering wheels collected, awesome. So we still have one more way to go, I think. Well, I'm glad that we got all that figured out. Or not. Huh, so did we do them all? Let's see what Mr. Krabs has to say about it. Because the south one is not Good open. Good work, boy. Here's the golden spatula, like I promised. Thank you. So there we go, we got a golden spatula. And that's 17 in total now. We're doing some great work with that, but this door is still not open. And that has me curious, why is there a boat up here? <laughs> but also, is there a way to get over them? Maybe with Sandy there is. Can Sandy do this, by the way? I am curious about that. No, she can't, no, she can't! No, Sandy! So there must be a way or something to do with Sandy if you can switch her up here, right? I mean, I guess it's just if you came up here without Sandy, um, there's there's something to do, maybe, about it. You know, you can switch back. But there has to be a way to get to, to the south part. Let me look over here real quick. I mean, maybe? No way. There's definitely something, maybe from the other side then. Because I haven't tried that side with Sandy, but it's a little weird, isn't it? I'll definitely throw out this lasso to get rid of you. And let's give this our best shot. No way. I mean, you can see that there's something, but I don't know if it actually leads to anything. It's so weird, isn't it? Huh. Maybe I can't get over there. So I looked around, I couldn't find a way over there. Maybe it doesn't lead to anything, who knows? But, there we go. 
You know, it's something. So that might be the Sea Needle done. We got a Golden Spatula there. So there's still maybe a couple more we can find, but we did get all of the steering wheels. We should go and get the Golden Spatula for that as well. Oh yeah, hi, Mrs. Puff. Well, if it isn't Sandy Cheeks. Howdy, Mrs. Puff. Oh, I don't think we can give it to her as Sandy. So I have to find a way or a place where I can switch over. That's a little weird because I'm way out here. I'm pretty well, sure. If yeah, because if we take a look right now, we have all 11 of them. So basically, end of the road, Tiki's go boom, come back with the cruise bubble. What is the cruise bubble? Wait a minute, there's, so there is still something I can do there. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, let me go figure that out, I guess. But you know, while I'm here, maybe I should try this with Sandy. There we go. And, oh, here we go. Oh, see now there's buttons to press around here. See, this was worth it. And then try this again right over that way. I will once again have to come back with SpongeBob. I wish that there was a bus stop around here. That would make things more useful. But now we're starting to figure it out a little bit more. That's at least good. I'll lasso you up. And I think we just gotta walk all the way down. Sandy does walk a little on the slow side, unfortunately. Uh, I think we need to make him do that. I don't know if that was worth it or not. There we go. Okay, there, there are some of the scared guys. Sometimes they disappear, sometimes they don't. Gotcha! Okay, do that, and then we're almost at the bus stop, right? It's somewhere around here, I think it's up here. Yep. So first off, swap characters. Thank you very much. And then right back down this way, we'll just take the sponge ball if we can. Because I've pressed the button, right? Oh yeah, that makes a jump, okay. We've seen that, we can skip this. Roll, go, go, roll, go. Roll, Whoa. Roll and then right over this way then, we have all these buttons we can press. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, push, Indeed it push, is. push. So we're almost there. Got that one, and then one more right over here. And what will that do for us? Oh, see ya! And look at that, right up there, there is a spatula. How do I get that? Can I just jump up? Also, what is this supposed to be? He's like running away from a saw or something? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, 18th golden spatula. There's still two more to get though. One for Mrs. Puff over here. So if I could just go over to her and see what we can do. And then I guess I'll go back to the sea needle and see what I did wrong. Cause I'm a little curious about that now. SpongeBob, <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? Well, there was I don't know why she stopped talking. Sandy, and the lighthouse was. Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? <laughs> That's a library card. A library card. Oh. All right then, so yep, another golden spatula right there, uptown and downtown. <laughs> So like I said, there should still be one more thing left to do. I'm a little confused about this one. Come back with the cruise bubble. What is the cruise bubble? I guess I can travel over to it. Yes, please. That's such a useful feature. That's my one of my favorite things about this game is that I don't have to walk all the way over there. Maybe I should have kept that in mind when I was doing everything else there, um, but that's fine. So yeah, let's try to figure this out. The cruise bubble. Oh, so to get over to there, I need a new ability that I don't currently have. That's what it is. Gotcha, I think I understand now. So, can't do that one just yet, that's fine, but that means that we are all finished up with, um, with, you know, Bikini, not Bikini Bottom, but uh, Downtown Bikini Bottom for right now. So, that's a lot of fun. I might as well go back to, uh, yeah, just go back to here. Just travel around, go back to Bikini Bottom, and see if we can't exchange some, some, Shinies for more golden spatulas, that would be awesome. We should be able to get another golden spatula from Patrick as well, so there's still more stuff to do, and that's awesome. Uh, but we're almost wrapped up for today's episode. We'll go to a new area next episode as well, but so glad that we could uh, explore downtown Bikini Bottom and play with Sandy. That was cool. Hello, Mr. Krabs. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Yep. That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. And there we go. So let's grab that. And that's gonna be our 20th one. Wow, we're really getting through it pretty quick. And what what, what, what does he need now? 9,000, so it seems like it goes up by 3,000 every time. So we'll definitely try to keep that in mind. So there we go. We'll need another like about 10,000, 11,000-ish, or no, 10,000 or 9,000, sorry. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. 
now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. We get 21 golden spatulas now. And that means I think we're all wrapped up because how many did we have in total? Uh, well now we're down to seven. So if we find three more, we'll do that. So next episode, we'll be going down this way, which is the Ghoul Lagoon. So that'll be a lot of fun. We'll be checking it's that out in the nice. next episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.